Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sopal, welcome back to Photoshop Magic, okay? So right now we are going to continue with the hologram effects part 2 of Mystique. As you can see in this uh, thumbnail right here, you will be able to see that we have a regular picture of, of Mystique right here from X-Men. She's a very famous character who can shapeshift. And we have this, you know, just regular light right here. I was able to put uh, Mystique in the background on top of this light to make it have this hologram effect on there. And it looks pretty amazing, okay? So if you've never been to my channel before, welcome. And uh, this channel focuses on the magical and creative power of Photoshop. It's for anybody who has no prior knowledge at all uh, of the basic and intermediate level, okay? So if you want more video, consider subscribing, like, and turn on that notification bell so you are notified the moment the video is posted, okay? And as always, you know, uh, with the license attribution here, and if you have watched my, if you've seen my video towards the end, uh, please, you know, before it reaches the end, just pause the video real quick and click on that like button. It really does help the channel a lot. And it does provide a lot of motivation to continue on to have more creative videos, okay? So without further ado, we are just going to continue on. So we left off right here where we got to cut out Mystique. And we're going to take Mystique to uh, the beach right there, okay? So what we want to do, we want to make sure you uh, you have the uh, this tool right here, the move tool. And we're going to left click, hold, and drag Mystique out of frame. And you want to drag her to the title of this beach right here. And and then we're going to come back down here. And then we release the left cold, okay? And there you have it. So depending on the pixel of how clear the image is, it's going to be either too big or too small. So since this is a very high pixel, um, very clear image, it's kind of big. So we're what we're going to do, we're going to resize it a little bit, okay? We're going to hold the control button, tap T. You will see all these uh, boxes around it. And we're going to hover until we see this double arrow so we're going to left click hold and drag to resize it down and then put her on top and she's a little bit out of frame so we're going to make it even smaller so what we want is for her to just be on top of this light right here to just make it you know as if uh, you know that light is producing that hologram effect okay so yeah I think this is perfect and what we're going to do we're going to tap on the check mark right there and there you have it okay so this is a good beginning point of us creating that, that effect. And the very first thing we want to do, uh, now that we have her you know, in the right spot, we are going to make two copies of it. Okay? We're going to left click, hold, and drag to this plus sign right here. We're going, to, we're going to do it one more time from the copy layer, just like so. Okay, So we have three different copies of her. Okay? So we made two copies, including the original one. And now we are going to name it to make sure it's right. The first layer, we're going to name it Glow because it's going to be our glow layer, just like so, GLO. And now we're going to click on it once to, to save it. And we're going to double click right here also to give it a name. And the name that we want is going to be Blur Edges. Blur Edges. And then we're going to click on it once. And then we're going to scroll back down. We're going to double click right here again. And we want this one to be Motion Blur. Motion Blur, just like so. And we're going to click on it once to save it. And now we have to turn the eye off oh, for these two. So as you can see, it's three you know, separate photographs. So that's why it's still here. If I were to turn this eye off right here, she's going to be gone. Okay, so right now we're working off of the, the motion blur only. That's why the, the eye is still on. And we want to make sure that, that motion blur is selected also to see how it's highlighted, okay? So now that that motion blur is, is highlighted and it's still, they still have the blue eye, we're going to click on the drop down arrow for normal and we're going to change it. So there's many different options in here that we can choose from. So, you, you know, you can just even go to the screen and it looks like it's a hologram already, but it's not the right the right one that we want. Obviously, we can we can still make it like that. But for this effect, it looks a lot better when when we have, you know, a different one. So this one we want, we want it to be linear light. OK, so we click on linear light. And then we go to filter, blur, motion blur. Go to filter, and then we go to blur, and we go to motion blur. And from there, you have the option to you know zoom out a little bit to be able to see. You see where, where it's like right there, and you can actually just move it around also. You see how how it's gonna look like that um, with 40. So we want it to be around 40 because I already did this once. Uh, I kind of know what what would be like a good fit for it. So depending on the size of your image. It's, you know, you're going to have to uh, play around with the numbers a little bit to be able to, to match what it is that you need, okay? To have the right 
one. Okay, so now we're going to click on OK. Okay, so now we're done with that one. So we're going to have to turn the eye off of that one. So she's going to disappear. So we're going to turn the eye off of the blue, the blur edges. Okay, so now we're working off this one, but you got to make sure now that the eye is on, you have to make sure the blur edges is, is highlighted also to be able to make that change. And now we're going to click on the drop down arrow. We're going to change it to luminosity. Okay, luminosity kind of made it like uh, the color fade a little bit. So now we have to make a selection before doing anything else to be able to make that selection here of, of uh, Mystique. We're going to have to hold. Yeah, we're going to have to hold down the, the control button and then you're going to have to click on that image to select it just like so. And now you can see that there's, you know, marching ants right here. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is we want to uh contract con contract a little bit to be able to do that we go to select and we want to go to modify and we want to go contract and you want to contract it by 10 percent or so so again depend on your image you just want to you know um, play around with numbers a little bit so 10 would be good for this image we're going to click on okay and as you can see the it kind of contract a little bit by 10 percent and we're going to go to uh, select again we're going to go to modified we are going to go to feather and we're going to make feather around 10% also. And these, all of these things, they're a little bit subtle, so you can't really see them as much until you reach the end and, and, and then you combine all three of them together and it looks really amazing. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to do an inverse selection. Um, so to be able to do that, uh, we have to, there is a shortcut for it. So you control shift I, so hold the control and hold the shift button, they're right next to each other. Hold them both down and you're going to tap I. And if done right, you should be able to see the marching ant around the edges. Okay, it it flips the the selected area to be the opposite. And now we want to go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Okay, go to filter, and then you're going to go to blur, uh, then Gaussian blur, just like so. And you want the you want it to be around like three pixels or so. Okay, so change the three pixels. Since I already did this before, it's like it's already you know been saved, so we're gonna click on OK. And now we want to go deselect everything, okay? So there's a shortcut for it. You hold the control button down, you tap D. It's gonna deselect everything. Now we want to turn the eye off of the blur blur edges right here. Turn the eye off of it, and then we want to turn the eye on for glow, and we want to click on it to highlight it. So from glow, uh, once it's highlighted, you want to change the fill from 100% to nothing. So it's going to make the image disappear. Uh, all we want to be able to do is to make changes to the glow of that image. That's why we want to make the fill zero. So you will see, so be able to see the modification also. Okay. So from there, you want to double click on that glow layer to bring up the, the this tool right here, the layer style. And we just want to be able to make changes to uh, the outside glow and also the inner glow. Okay, so nine minutes has passed. So I'm going to show you guys how to save our work. So we're not going to continue with this section. We're going to continue with part three. Uh, it's also in the description below. And as always, if you have watched the video till the end and you are trying to you know, do this and if you find any value out of my video, at the very least, please pause this video right now and click on the like button. Destroy that like button. It really does help the channel to, for the YouTube algorithm to be able to suggest this video to more people. So, you know, uh, yeah, okay. So at the very least, and feel free to share the video also, and with your friends and family. Uh, again, the whole reason why you know I decided to do this channel is is to be able to help people out and be able to grow the channel, and obviously, you know, in the future, be able to make a living out of it, and uh, it would mean a lot if you guys can do that. Okay. It would definitely help out with a lot, a lot of motivation and everything too. Okay, so let's continue on. Before we end this, I'm going to show you how to save. We go to a file. I'm going to go to save as. Um, I always tell you guys, uh, if you have seen all my other videos too, save as is very different from save and the fact that it does not affect your original save at all. It's a separate save file. You can save in a different location with a different name. And there's no limit to how many save as you can do. 
Okay, so this one we can just name it, uh, you know, beach. Well, uh, let's see. Hologram effects part two. And okay, it's just like so. We're going to click save. And there you have it. Okay, and as always, I hope you have a great day.